it's really good getting a, a weight um, as close to birth as we can. That just helps with our growth indexes. G'day, Ross Richards, uh, my wife Ruth and I farm uh, here in Taramanui, Romani Farms. Home farm is 240 hectares effective. We lease 400 hectares off six different Maori trusts. We're about 60% sheep, 40% cattle. Run about 3,000 ewes, uh, a thousand of that or so of those are recorded. Got two flocks, uh, the Romani Kirkworth flock um, goes back through uh, the MNCC flock which we purchased in 2005 and bought the, that stud outright in 2015. But So that Coopworth flock goes right back to the start of the Coopworths. And then in the last five years, we've established a shedding flock, mainly Wiltshire, but we've used Exlana Genetics and some Meatmaster. And we've, we've crossed Coopworth into the shedding flock to get eczema tolerance and worm tolerance, better temperament, etc. Winters can be challenging and some of that's driven by the stud. We, we'll have 14 or 18 mating mobs over tupping. That can make it quite hard to, to carry feed through into the winter. But yeah, Trimaroo is a very kind place to farm really. Start lambing uh, mid-August. So these lambs we've been doing today, the oldest might be four weeks old. Majority would be two to three weeks old. It's a little earlier than we normally dock, but that, that was a deliberate move just to spread the workload a bit. Docking them in smaller mobs just so that they stay mothered up. There's about 200% being born, so there are quite a few, well, a lot of twins and quite a few triplets. Just don't want to be creating too much in the way of mismothering. So they're, they're often lambing at a stocking rate of sort of 50 or 60 used to the hectare. So yeah, at the peak we'd be tagging you know, 120, 140 lambs a day. Our usual docking procedure is we draft all the lambs off in one go. If we're in, the, in covered yards, we've got two wool sheds so that most of the docking is done there. If we're out in the satellite yards, then we have to do it just pen, pen full by pen full. But um, with the studs, Prior to putting them down the chute, um, we have the um, true test indicator set up on the bet marker chute. Um, scan the lamb's tag, measure the length of the lamb's tail, and I've just got a ruler taped onto the stick reader to do that, um, quick and simple. Uh, and then I enter into the true test, obviously the lamb's identification, the length of the tail, whether it's a male or a female, and the, and the live weight. We don't get a live weight at birth. It's really good getting a, a weight um, as close to birth as we can. That just helps with our growth indexes. The lambs then go down the chute. We earmark the ewe lambs in the stud, leave the ram lambs ears unmolested. We do a um, scabbing, scabby mouth vaccine and then chop the tails off and the um, automatic sprayer on, as, as we release the lambs out of the vet marker applies some fly spray to their bums and away they go. Um, so the great thing about the roller is that they tip down on their feet, they're not getting dirty at all. Um, it saves a labour unit because we don't have to have anyone applying chemical and it's just really quick and easy, works really well. Used a docking iron for 30, 40 years, however long, since 1993 and before that we are not was shepherding. I think that iron's probably about 10 years old. Again, works really well, st still going strong. And the vet marker, we've had that at least five years, could be seven or eight years. The Tipari vet marker has been really helpful um, in enabling us to collect data at tailing time quickly and easily. Um, the scales are accurate, um, everything works well. Um, so I'd recommend it to any farmer that was wanting to um, speed up their tailing process and wanting to be capturing data at tailing time.